As we whir along the skyway, we get this interesting glimpse of the after cabin. And inside the huge envelope is this catwalk, which runs the entire length of the ship. It takes us to the forward part of the sky giant, the nerve center of the ship, which hums with activity, while outside the peaceful sea of clouds forms a fleecy curtain. Passing through the chart room, we enter the control car. There's the helmsman at the wheel, guiding the Macon on her appointed course, while officers on watch transmit orders for maneuvering the airship. Cruising at 60 miles an hour, we approach Sunnyvale, the Macon's permanent home. As we draw near, every man aboard is at his station, for nosing the dirigible down to her mobile mooring mast is a delicate job. Mooring under the direction of Commander Dressel, we land safely, the end of a perfect trip. <laughs>